You win the morning, you're gonna win the day. You can't lose. You can't lose if you're in this zone in the morning. So how do we get in that in the morning? This ain't like gonna be some rah rah motivational boost. Something I've been thinking about recently is before I got sick, I kind of fell off productivity wise. I was getting up just before I had to wake up, you know, looking at my phone for first thing in the morning, checking Instagram, not working out. It was bad. And I think there's really four modes that you can be in if you're already good. So the way I like to look at it is four NBA players. We got Michael Jordan, we got Shaquille O'Neal, we got Vince Carter, and we got J.R. Smith. Because we're who we are and we're already above average, if we learn nothing else from this point forward and we didn't educate ourselves and we let ourselves fall off, we'd at least be Vince Carter. Vince Carter is one of the most talented NBA players that ever came in the league and he had what is arguably a Hall of Fame career. But he also enjoyed fucking these and partying and he never reached his full potential. Anybody that knows him is like, man, he could have done so much more. Like he had a great career, could have done a lot more. The people that are like in this area, they think that. The people in this area are like, oh my God, you're, you're great. Everything's amazing with you. But you know on the inside, that you can be doing a lot more. Shaquille O'Neal was a great basketball player, you know, in the top 15 all time, four championship rings, but that's with only putting in 75 to 80% effort. Don't get me wrong, great career, one of the all timers, but he just, you know, he liked, he liked partying, he liked going out, he liked putting his huge dick in white women, which is fine if you can schedule it. <laughs> what? So Shaquille O'Neal is like if we put in 75 to 80% effort, right? And then Michael Jordan, <laughs> Michael Jordan had all the talent and got every fucking inch. He clawed for every fucking inch and almost nobody gets you. And for those of you that don't know who J.R. Smith is, he uh, came uh, out of high school into the NBA. And that's how good he was. He had to, he could skip college, but he had zero, zero work ethic. Like none, like no work ethic at all. Zero percent effort. And he still does okay. Right? He still does okay. So this is like, this is actually, it's probably most people because J.R. Smith still has a decent career. He's still doing all right, but he has no effort at all, like none. So I would argue when I was slacking, I was probably hovering in the Vince zone you could argue maybe somewhere in between. Because even me on autopilot, I'm still gonna be okay. Even you on autopilot, even you, and you, and you. You're gonna be fine on autopilot because you guys are dope. But that's also one of our curses, is because we're still gonna do okay even when we're not putting in 75% effort, even when we're not putting in 100% effort. And to everybody else, hey man, he's doing fine. But you know that you could be doing more for whatever it is that you want to achieve. Whether it's, you know, having a huge YouTube following or being uh, the Danish Amanda Bucci or whatever whatever it is you wanna do. If you know you can be doing more, most people are gonna look at you like you're doing fine. Does that make sense? Hey guys, what's been most helpful so far? Anyway, what I realized is the most effective way to get yourself here starts with your fucking morning. I'm not like breaking new ground with that. You win the morning, you're gonna win the day. You can't lose. You can't lose if you're in this zone in the morning. So how do we get in that in the morning? How do we do that? Because that was my problem. I wasn't there in the morning. So it starts with the night before. And if you can win this, you're gonna win. Now for me, what I realized is, is that I'm gonna call this the, um, the MJ can't lose evening. MJ can't lose evening. Before you go to bed, you should start this one to three hours beforehand. Really two to three hours. Two to three hours beforehand, the MJ can't lose evening should start. What you're doing is hitting a couple of check marks that will allow you to have recovery time. Brandon may argue against this, but I actually think it's critically important that you have at least 60 minutes doing whatever the fuck you want. Don't worry about being productive. Don't worry about, you know, whatever. Like if you want to listen to a podcast that's bullshit, if you want to listen, if you want to watch a TV, show that's bullshit you want to watch a logan paul video yo are you good bro yeah, i'm good <laughs> whatever 60 minutes do whatever you want and i think that you should give yourself at least two that way you can account for errors or mistakes or whatever so if you want to get to bed at 10 because in my evening routine i think you should get at least seven hours 
and ideally eight. And I don't like to go below seven or eight for me, whatever it is for you. But for me, I don't want to go below that number. And what you need to do is you need to make a checklist, a personal checklist, separate from Trello or from work, or make it in your own Trello. Make a personal checklist for the next day. Make a personal checklist for the next day. Take your checklist from the previous day and move whatever you didn't get done that you want to get done to the next day checklist. Three. So one of the issues that we have, I think, like, like millennials in general, is that our biggest struggle is managing abundance. We have too much shit and it's very easy to get distracted. We have too much shit and it's very easy to get distracted. The night before you download on your phone, whatever you're gonna listen to on the way to work. And it has to be productive, right? That's one of the rules. It can't be recovery shit because it's not recovery time yet. You can't play, for me, the Bill Simmons podcast in the morning, which is a sports podcast. I can't play this during the morning. So I download, for me, a tacky trick because it's entertaining, it's informative, and it's something I can use. It can be an audiobook, something like that. And also, the reason you need to download it is you're not turning your phone off airplane mode in the morning. Not turning your phone off airplane mode in the morning. So whatever you got in your phone is what you're gonna listen to in the gym. Whatever you, whether this, one of the, so you know, download the workout songs, whatever it is. So the three steps, you're taking the shit that you didn't get done yesterday, that during that day, and putting it in your next day checklist, making the checklist for the next day, downloading whatever music you need for the gym, downloading whatever you're gonna listen to on the way to work, and and now, once all that's done, once all that's done, let's say it's 7.30 p.m. Now, you basically have two and a half hours to do whatever you want before going to sleep at 10. And then in the morning, MJ morning, there's only three things I need you to do. How many guys? Three. Maybe it's four. Leave phone on airplane mode until end of routine. You're gonna work out for 10 minutes. The reason I say 10 minutes is because part of the reason that a lot of people don't work out in the morning or they don't move their body is because they're thinking, oh, I got 40 minutes an hour. Like, nah, motherfucker. It doesn't have to be, even be working out. You just gotta fucking move, go outside and walk. Cause it just, it's just gonna do something to your brain. And then you're gonna meditate for two minutes. I'm not asking you to fucking, you know, whatever. So 10 minutes of working out, two minutes of meditating. And now, so I guess it's four, listen to that audio until you get to work. There's something about this, man, that when you do this, it really makes your day more like MJ. You guys ever have like a really good fucking day? Dude, just for whatever reason, everything's clicking. Like, like what's Johnny? Like when you're having like a fucking awesome day, like what happens? One thing that happens to me is like my, my forehead begins buzzing. Yeah. Like your forehead buzzes and just like answers to problems just fucking come to you. Like shit that would have been bothering you for a week. Oh fuck, just do that. And when you figure out what to do, guess what? Put it in the fucking daily checklist right away. Answers just begin coming to you, you become more social and you're just happier in general. The last bit I'll leave you with is that if you can have this kind of morning six out of seven days a week, you're MJ, you're in the MJ zone. If you can have it five out of seven days a week, like six out of seven, I believe if you do this six out of seven days a week and then you have like an MJ day, six out of, I, I believe you can't lose and you're gonna reach all your goals and potential. If you're five out of seven, I think you can be Kobe, where it's still fucking super successful right? It's still great. You should be celebrating five out of seven. And this also makes sense because MJ has six rings. Kobe has five rings. If you're four out of seven, I think you're Shaq. You know, it's still, it's still good. You're, you're good. P pretty good. Three out of seven, we're Vince Carter now. I begin sounding the alarms. Two out of seven, you're giving me some JR vibes. You're like, you're thinking about getting some tattoos. You want to take some Henny shots. Zero or one out of seven, you are now a bitch. That's been on my mind lately. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, man. Appreciate it.